I don't want to go to prison because I want to be able to choose when I can be a bitch. You know what I'm talking about? It seems like prison chooses when and you when and like when you can and can't be a bitch. And I don't feel like prison has got the right choices down. Like prison mess your morals all up. People be saying crazy shit when they come out of prison. They be like, yeah, man, when you go to prison, you just got to be racist because it's safer. The fuck? That's insane, fam. But you know it ain't that bad. It sounds bad. It sounds real bad. When you get in, you gonna have to fight, you know what I'm saying? You don't even have to win. You just gotta show that you're willing to fight. But I don't like to fight. Well, then somebody gonna fuck you. Those are insane choices, fam. That is crazy work right there. You know, this one time we saw this dude get beat down with a sock full of batteries for like 27 minutes before the guards got there. You know what I mean? It was crazy. What you, what you, what you, what you mean though? I don't want to see that. Also, um, I snore. I've had people on the outside say they were going to murder me for snoring and I believed it. I feel like somebody in prison, I'm going to just wake up with a pillow over my face, fam. I don't want that. I don't want to go. Even if I do agree to fight, like I'm a cry fighter. Anybody else a cry fighter? I'd be cry fighting. You know what I'm saying? I'd be still swinging, but I'd be crying. <laughs> what if I won the fight, but I'm a cry fighter? I also don't want to fight somebody that I got to see tomorrow. Win or lose. I don't want to fight somebody that I got to see tomorrow. It's all these rules and shit. I got ADHD. I ain't going to remember no damn rules. I just don't want to go. I don't want to go. No. Nope. Also, it looked like it stink. Like it looked like it stink stink. You know what I'm saying? I'm really not looking forward to somebody else always hearing the plops. You know what I'm talking about? I'm self-conscious, okay? So just know that if you about to do some dirt around me, I'm a tail. Okay? I'm going to tell. You have been warned. You know, I can support your lifestyle, but still think you weird in a motherfucker. Weird don't mean bad, you know? Like if we homies. And the only way that you can go out in public is by wearing a skin tight plaid bodysuit. Do you, homie? Let's go to the movies. You know what I'm saying? If I hear somebody, you know, say something like, is that dude wearing a plaid skin tight bodysuit? I'm not going to look around to see who they talking about. I'm not going to need to do that. I'm going to just be like, yo, that's my man's right there. Killing it with the bodysuit. It's weird. I get it. But that's still my man's though. Mind your business. Weird is only weird to me. Just because I think it's weird, another motherfucker might not think it's weird. And I'm be like, hey, man, it, it, it might not be weird to him. I got a lot of Ninja Turtle stuff and way too many socks. There's some people that's going to be like, that's weird, honey. But I'm going to be like, word. I probably have too many Disney movies on DVD for a grown-ass adult man to have. But guess what? I'm going to watch Aladdin smile like a motherfucker. And the special features. It's just too many things that like people do on a daily basis that I find weird. Like go to baseball games. What's wrong with you? That's weird, dog. Ain't you bored? You ain't bored not at all. I think it's weird. But I also can't see the goddamn ball. So what I'm doing there. I'm eating hot dogs and shitting myself in the bathroom with no door. And that's weird. There's people out there who enjoy the taste of sour. My kid is one of them. That's weird to me. But I would never tell them to stop eating sour. You do... You boo boo. I one time saw a dude take Sour Patch Kids at the movies and put them in his popcorn. I was like, that dude is weird as hell. And then I tried it with peanut M&Ms and that dude and me now homies. We friends now. Like women who care too much about their eyebrows. That's fucking weird to me. Ain't nobody know when I go talk to you because your eyebrows. What's wrong with you? But guess what? Do you? Do you know there's people out there who really in 2024 is really still choosing xbox that's weird that that's weird but you do you fam ain't nobody mad at you do you i have a baby blanket that i have named kiki that i take when i go on the road i used to take it to school sometimes and some people might think that it's weird it definitely smell weird you know what i'm saying i should wash it some like more often but that's me that's me that's how i gets down I'm just saying, man, be weird out there in these streets. People who dress up in them costumes and stuff like furries, that's weird. But also, where y'all where y'all get that? Where y'all get that at? It's kind of weird, but also I did have a real, for real crush on Gadget from, from Rescue Rangers. So I guess, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I guess, <laughs> but not for real, where I, can, where I can get one of them. Embrace your weird is all I'm trying to say. Everybody, everybody's got a weird. If you meet somebody that they not weird, they ain't got nothing that's weird about them. Mm -mm. They not, they not normal weird, dog. They extra weird. And they know it. And they know it. They know it.
that's that weird that's like that's crazy i don't really do nothing i mean sometimes i eat puppies live but you know other than that dog i'm really just a normal guy <laughs> let me tell you something and i mean this from the bottom to the top okay if you ever see me hurt myself and you tell me to take it like a man i hope both your pinkies explode right now kablam take it like a man what that mean dog what that mean you ain't see that man kick me in my throat how i'm supposed to take what that mean huh Hmm? You been donkey kicked in the nuts, fam? How am I supposed to take that like a man? Hmm? In that instance. Hmm? Hmm? Don't you take these back shots like a man? It don't make no sense, right? It don't make no sense, right? That's what I'm talking about. And ladies, I don't want to hear y'all. That's right. That's right. Take it like a woman. Shut up. Shut up. And nobody asks you nothing. This ain't about you. Shut up. But men's. Stop. Telling people, take it like a man. I saw, I saw, I saw. I remember when I was a kid, I saw this kid fall bust his ass his arm was broke i'm legally blind his arm was broke broke his daddy gonna talk about take it like a man fuck you daddy how about fuck you daddy won't you take your wife leaving you like a man huh won't you take that shit absolutely ridiculous make no goddamn sense shit y'all know that like in the 1300s toilet paper wasn't even a thing like like everybody was pretty much just wiping their ass with straw feel like that's you know what i'm saying like the king, you understand? Like the richest dude on the planet. He was still straw in the booty. Like just think of the smells today in like a bad part of town. Can you imagine the smells of like $12.99? Woo, I bet it stank stank. Also, there was no white noise machine, so you just heard everything. For sure heard your parents banging. It wasn't a whole lot of insulations in the wall. You heard what was happening. And it wasn't like it was a gang of sinks. Back then, neither. Didn't nobody wash up before they came to breakfast the next morning. No mommy serving you porridge. You got daddy up under her nails and stuff. That's nasty. Mother, what does it mean to say take it like a beast? That's what you was dealing with, dog. Maybe the, the best brothels had some baths and stuff like that. But, like, everybody else was just funk humping. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just what it was. Repeated funk humping. Just getting down with the funk humps, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm just trying to say, like, it's not... It's not the best today, but like, it's better than that. You know what I mean? Like, it's, we doing all right. How the fuck is kangaroos a thing? They too, they way too brolic to be hopping. They got the body of a linebacker, big ass feet and shit. I don't like it. I don't understand it. And I don't like it. Like, why you look like you'll choke a motherfucker out up top, but then you be hopping? Don't whoop my ass and hop away. Disrespect. Why can you sit on your tail and double front me in the chest? I don't feel, no, no. Like, you can hop. Like 35 miles an hour plus you can throw hands? Nah. Kangaroos should be raccoon size. Then I would have no problem with kangaroos. If kangaroos were raccoon size, I think they might be the most adorable animal. But they're not raccoon size, are they? They're human size. And they're not adorable. They got camel faces. They got Terry Crews upper body. Sideshow bob feet. It's got the biggest inside Audi belly button on the planet with a raptor tail. Like what, 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 is, what is happening? And then it just hops. I don't understand none of the things that's going on with kangaroos. Like bears can swipe at you and, 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 and swat at you and knock your arm clean off your body. But kangaroos throw hands like Roy Jones Jr. And I don't approve. Just got your baby in a fanny pack on the inside and just hopping with your baby with a, in a fanny pack. That's crazy work. Just a big ass stand up rabbit going 40 miles an hour. Cock diesel on motherfuckers. I don't, man, hell no, nah, dog. Hell no. Nah. I'm not really afraid of letting my girlfriend have like access to my phone or nothing. Like I'm not a, I'm not a cheater. That's just never been my stilo. It just seemed like a lot of work. First of all, not everybody can just go out there and cheat in these streets. Some of us get like one option. Like I don't get a lot of women just running up to me like, why don't you go ahead and grab these things? That's just not me. But honestly, it just seemed like a lot of work. To cheat, doesn't it? You gotta name people different stuff. You gotta call, like you gotta, you gotta remember stuff. I don't wanna be doing all that, dog. Who gonna get their dream job and then steal from their dream job? That's crazy. Unless your dream job was stealing. And then you know, you kinda gotta steal at your dream job. If your dream job was stealing, it would suck to be a bad stealer. Like if you didn't steal well, I'm a bad thief. I'm a terrible thief. Since my vision's bad, I don't know who see me. And I get paranoid about that. That dude might see me and I don't see that he see me. And then I'm stealing something when the dude looking straight at me. So it might to him look like I'm being bold as hell. But really, I just can't see the homie. And I don't want to have to deal with that problem. Because I don't know what I'm going to say if they like, we saw you stole that thing. I don't actually know if they did. I might be like, did you really though? 
Like, how far away was you? Because I didn't see you see me steal that thing. So I don't think that you saw me steal that, that thing. I'm a great distraction. I can talk really well. If talking was steal, I could steal talk. I could, I could talk, steal, steal words. I don't think that that's a thing, though. Anyway, cheating just seems like a lot of effort. My chick is dope, so I don't really need to do that. I think that's what I was talking about. But if not, I don't know. You hear people say that a lot of time that, that men have unrealist expectations when it comes to the, you know, when it comes to the get down, banging. I actually agree with that. I think that sometimes we, we do have unrealistic expectations. But but ladies, y'all got to understand something. We have unrealistic expectations about everything. Three times this week, at least, I have tried to make something move with my mind. Three times. This week. It's Tuesday. That's unrealistic expectation. It's not going to move, but I'm going to try again tomorrow. Everything we do is an unrealistic expectation. Remember one time I had an unrealistic expectation that I could make it home before crapping my pants. I did not. Expectation was unrealistic. We even have unrealistic expectations about our fears. How many dudes do you know right now that think that if they go in the ocean, they're going to die because of a shark? That's an unrealistic expectation. You're going to die because you can't swim and you're going to drown. Most dudes have the unrealistic expectation that if a, 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 a burglar break into their house, they're going to be able to fend them off. That's not realistic. Most of us going to hide under the bed. I, I am. That's what I'm going to be at. 90% of injuries are because a dude thought he could do something that he couldn't do. Do you know how many dudes have broken their arms because they had the unrealistic expectation that at 45 they could still dunk? Climbing a tree when you are being chased by a bear is, is a bad idea. Dudes still have the unrealistic expectation, but I, I could outclimb a bear though. Every dude still kind of thinks that maybe the CIA might need me one day. Unrealistic expectation. I still order large pizzas with the expectation that I'm going to finish that whole goddamn thing. Three pieces in, my booty be laughing at me. Unrealistic expectations are why a lot of dudes are homophobic. They really believe that, like, if I'm in the gym and and somebody see my penis, well, they going to just have to have some of that. That's an unrealistic expectation, dog. We've named shit unrealistic expectations. The Hail Mary Pass. What is that? That is an unrealistic expectation. Yet we do it all the time. And when it works, what do we say? I fucking knew it, man. No, we didn't. Ladies, y'all are unrealistic expectations. Don't you? you know that? The idea that I'm going to somehow walk up to you and not know what to say and then end up talking about Ninja Turtles and you are going to give me your number and smile at me and touch me in my, in my happy places. That's an unrealistic expectation. Okay. That's unrealistic. But I'm going to do it. So, yeah, sometimes we have unrealistic expectations when it comes to the, you know, when it comes to banging. But that's because we really, we really think you can do that shit. The next time your man is feeling down or whatever, tell him you'd make a really good ninja. No laughing. You got to be serious about it. You'd make a good ass ninja. He'll be thinking about that for the rest of the year. Okay. You're welcome.